Hello everyone, I'm Samantha. I'm an artist and also an art teacher at the Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts or NAFA in short. Welcome to an artist's tropical landscape, an interactive installation inspired by the painting Tropical Fruits by Georgia Chen. This video is part of Small Big Dreamers at Home, an online festival by the National Gallery Singapore. Today, I will be conducting a still life drawing workshop. You will follow me in the context of your own home. If there's any parts that you would like more time for, please feel free to press the pause button. I hope you have plenty of fun learning how to create your own still life drawing and also learn about how artists get inspired by the world around them. Are you ready? Let's go! So, you may be wondering, what is a still life drawing? The word still life comes from a Dutch term, still leaven. This is used to describe a drawing that is made out of inanimate objects. An inanimate object is an object that does not move. Let's spy with our little eyes around your home if you can see any inanimate objects. How many inanimate objects can you see around you? This is an artwork created by Georgia Chen titled Tropical Fruits. This painting is a still life painting that shows some tropical fruits. Can you name some of the fruits that you see in this painting? Did I hear you say pineapple, bananas, rambutans? Pomelo, custard apple, and star fruits? Good job! Do you enjoy eating any of these fruits? Let's take a closer look at Georgia Chen's painting. In this painting, we see an arrangement of fruits on a table. These fruits are unique because they can be only found in hot, tropical places like around Southeast Asia. We might be wondering, why did Georgia Chen paint tropical fruits? I believe it has a lot to do with her life experiences. Georgia Chen was born in China in 1906. She was very well traveled and studied in China, America, and France. In the 1950s, Georgia Chen moved to Southeast Asia and settled down in Singapore. When she was in Southeast Asia, she found herself surrounded by fascinating fruits. Fruits she probably did not come across elsewhere. This still life painting reflects the strong connection that she felt with Singapore. Through her art, Georgia Chen is regarded as one of the most important female local artists in the art history of Singapore. Georgia Chen joined the Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts in Singapore in 1954. She was the first woman to teach at NAFA. Today, there are more female artists like me teaching at NAFA. In this painting, Tropical Fruits, Georgia Chen used all paints to create images of the fruits on a piece of canvas. She had created it in 1969, way before you and even I were born. Okay kids, now we're going to be making our own still life drawing. Today, instead of using oil on canvas, just like what Georgia Chen did, we will be using paper and pencils to create our still life drawing. You will need a drawing block or some plain paper, and a pencil and an eraser, and some colouring pencils. If you need time to gather your art materials, you can press the pause button. 
Before we begin, I will be making an arrangement with fruits. Ta-da! Here's some of my fruits on the table. I will be placing a pineapple in the foreground, a star fruit in the middle ground, and the custard apple in the background. The fruit in the foreground is the fruit that is nearest to us. Well, the fruit in the background is the fruit that is furthest away from us. The fruit in the middle ground is the fruit that is between the fruit in the foreground and the background. Let's put on our observation goggles. Do you notice that the fruit in the foreground appears to look larger? Well, the fruit in the background appears to look smaller. What else do you notice about this arrangement of fruits? Once we've had placed our fruits in an arrangement, we will be starting our drawing. First, we're going to draw a straight line to represent the surface of the table. Next, we are going to draw some of the shapes that we see. Can you tell me what are some of the shapes that you see? With light markings, I'm going to use a large oval shape to mark the spot of the pineapple. Another slightly smaller oval shape to mark the spot of the star fruit, And a little heart shape to mark the spot of the custard apple. With these shapes, I can make sure that all the fruits are on my paper. The fruit that is furthest in the background will be closest to the table line that you have drawn. While the fruit that is closest to us in the foreground will be furthest from the table line, closer to the bottom of the page. Now that we've finished drawing the shapes of the fruits, we're going to use an eraser to remove any of the table line that has crossed over to the fruits. Great! Now let's get into the details. Use your observation skills to draw any details that you see. Finally, let's colour the fruits. Do you notice how Georgia Chen has used more than one colour to paint her fruits? Let's zoom in close to look at the rambutans that she drew. Can you tell me what colours do you see? Yes! I see some red, green and yellow. Let's go close to the bananas that Georgia Chen painted. What are some of the colours that you see? I see different shades of green and yellow. Also, shades of red and pink. Have you seen a pink banana before? Do you know that there are over 60 varieties of bananas found in Southeast Asia? I'm going to try colouring my fruits with more than one colour. I'm all done. Now we are going to create a second arrangement where the fruits overlap with one another. 
I've got my pineapple, star fruit, custard apple, a bunch of rambutans, and a banana. So, when the fruits overlap from one another, you will see the fruit in the front covering part of the fruits at the back. Let's start with drawing a line to represent the surface of the table. Next, we are going to draw some of the shapes that we see. With very, very light markings. You will notice that some of the lines intersect with one another. They cross over. So, fret not, there is our handy eraser with us. We can use our eraser to erase some of the line that crosses over. Now we are going to go into the details. Now let's colour. I'm going to work with the banana first. And we are done! Artists are inspired by more than just their sense of sight. Often, their other senses are engaged when they create. In her letters, Georgia Chen describes Singapore to be just like the tropical paradise of Tahiti. She was always fascinated by the sights and smells around her in her new home of Southeast Asia. What do you think Georgette smelt or tasted when she encountered tropical fruits? Oh, look guys! Here we are! A star fruit! Do you recognize it from the drawing that we created just now? I'm feeling the skin and the surface of this star fruit and it feels smooth and waxy to touch. Hmm, let's turn it to the side. Ah, I see how the star fruit got its name. Can you see the star shape right over here? How many edges does this star fruit have? Shall we count? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, this star fruit has five edges. Look how different it is when we look at it from this angle. And if we look at it from this angle, how will you describe the shape of the star fruit from this angle? Hmm, I 
think it looks like an oval to me. Let's try cutting the star fruit. Let's see what we get. Ta-da! This is what we get when we cut the star fruit across. Look how beautiful these stars are. Can you find where the seeds are? I spy a little seed right here. Can you see it? Look how juicy this star fruit is. I wonder how it smells like. Would you like to take a sniff? Mmm, it smells so sweet and fragrant. Wow, now we have a pineapple. Can you feel the texture of the pineapple? What do you think it feels like? It feels really rough and spiky to me. Let's feel the leaves of the pineapple. It feels spiky and pokey too. Although parts of the leaves is smooth to touch. Look at these interesting diamond shapes that the pineapple has. Look at this big oval shape. And over here on the spikes, I see small little triangles. There are triangles too on the leaves. What an interesting fruit. Let's see what it looks like when we cut it. We have sliced this pineapple into half so that we can see what's on the inside. Are you guys ready? I'm excited. Wow! Look how beautiful this yellow is. Let's compare the outside of the pineapple with its inside. Look how that the outside of the pineapple is green and the inside is yellow. Mmm, I can already smell the fragrance of the pineapple. Would you like to try smelling it too? It smells so sweet, doesn't it? And looking at the surface, it's also a very juicy fruit. Mmm, I can't wait to eat it. Anybody would like to guess which fruit will come next? Yes, you're right. It's a pomelo. Wow, this pomelo is really round. It is both smooth to touch yet rough at the same time. Hmm. Let's try the smell. Does this pomelo have a smell? Well, I would say the smell of the pomelo is not as strong as the star fruit and the pineapple. Maybe it makes an interesting sound. Shall we pet it? Do you think we can make a rhythm with this? Makes a great musical instrument or percussion, doesn't it? Hmm, I'm curious to see what's inside a pomelo. Let's cut it open, shall we? Here we are! A pomelo that has been sliced. But well, I would say not completely because we are going to peel it apart to see what's on the inside. Now that the pomelo has been cut, I can smell the fruity zestiness of this pomelo. Are we ready to open it? I am. Let's try. Mm. 
I did it. Okay. So we're going to see what it's like. Wow. Look how juicy it is. Look at these small pulp. Aren't they fascinating? Look at these little sacks of pulp. I'm gonna try squishing it with my fingers. Look how juicy they are. Would you like to try some? Oh, it tastes both sweet and sour at the same time. Hmm, delicious. I'm gonna have that all to myself. Can you share your drawings with me? I would like to see them. After you finish your drawing, you can ask a parent or a guardian to take a photograph of it. You can hold your artwork in front of you just like the way I'm doing now. Ask a parent or guardian to upload this photo onto their social media accounts and hashtag SmallBigDreamers2020, Tropical Fruits and an artist tropical landscape. Thank you everyone for joining us at the workshop here today as part of an artist tropical landscape. This workshop is part of Small Big Dreamers at Home 2020. We hope you have fun learning about still life drawing and also about the life of Georgia Chen. If you want to know more about Georgia's stories, see more of her paintings, Come right down in person to the gallery today to see our latest exhibition, Georgia Chen, at home in the world.